prepare for, um, at least for like, you know, evil style global tournaments for a game to carry over, or at least a soul yes. caliber game to yeah, carry over. Not, I don't think for it's multiple actually happened years. before. Uh, it didn't happen for yeah. five, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> it happened for two. It happened for it part happened two. For two. Yeah, yeah. two. But yeah, we're going to see how uh, Keith actually progresses from this point on until Evil Japan, where he defends his title. And we're going to go off here. Nightmare versus. Night yeah, Nightmare versus Talim. Oh, very patient there from Ashimari, so he knows the kind of uh, danger he's in at the ring edge and slowly took his time to get back in. Gets a nice knockdown here against Kiev, but oh, Kiev very wisely punishing the evasive step from Matalim. Oh, able to cancel it, the follow up here. Once again, this this pressure game from Shimarisu, like he's losing a lot of life, but it's so far all Shimarisu. Alright, able to get that first round. Off we go, ooh, just walks right into the AGA to start round 2. Gets the launcher, good block there. Looks like a lot more pressure here, uh, pressure working a lot better here for Shimarisu in the second round. But Keith gets his signature uh, with punish there. Once again, you'll notice something in Keith's matches, it's like when this man walks backwards, he does it like at the perfect timing and he gets the biggest punish off of it. Oh yeah, he's a master of just spacing, especially with his character. Which he's been like, doing this with uh, Nightmare since I believe SC4. And it's always this exact precise clean spacing game that's gotten him so far. Ooh, very nice catch off the jump. Grounding Shimarisu, preventing any form of weird shenanigans. Good GI there, or catches her out of the 9B. And once nice. again, these AGAs are just controlling every attempt Shima Risu uh, brings with like some form of a shenanigans, just gets snuffed by that move. Yeah, keep doing a great job opening it up, man. He went three straight rounds there. Very, very strong showing from him. They go right into the rematch, and Duke trying not to skip a beat here, but he's going to have to do something to make some adjustments here in the matchup. Right now, Keeve is uh, seemingly unstoppable here in the set. Oh, this is going to be big, and oh, it's going to lead yeah. to a ring that, out. That is going to hurt. Very nicely done. I wonder if Shimarisu was afraid of the AGA post GI because, like, Keith has been using it so much. So it feels like it. I mean, he was obviously ducking there. He got hit. Yep. So we'll see. I mean, that's a uh, that's the scary part. I mean, either way, if uh, defensively if he's able or offensively if he's able to get the right read, he's going to put the hurt on. So ooh, that whiff there. Fortunately for Shimarizu, Keith didn't get much out of it. And there is the AGA Lito hit I was talking about. And look at that back-to-back -back ring out rounds from Keith And Keith making great use of the stage here in and his both, favor. And both rounds off of a GI as well. So now, not only is Shimarizu afraid of the ring edge, but when he's there, he's going to be afraid of pressing any buttons whatsoever. Nice. Able to catch up that time. Kick once again with the AGAs, trying to make sure Shimarizu stays in this position. And Shimarizu, you can see, trying to step closer uh, to his right to reverse that pressure. Just like that, Keith backing away with his life lead. Oh, he's actually going to get the running lethal hit. Just as what Shen Yan showed us earlier, this is a huge damage opportunity from uh, Shimarizu. Yeah, he's going to put... Yeah, that's yeah. a good chance here. This is going to be big. He definitely needs this round, otherwise it's going to be all over for him. Oh, and this is going to... Okay. Yeah, he got him right through the attack. That was a big risk there, but he was able to pull it off. Finally on the scoreboard here, two rounds to one. For a moment, I thought that was actually Nightmare CE, and we have seen like something <laughs> massive, but no, my eyes... My eyes are looking for something really high. Nice. Go good block there on the low. And Duke's starting to mix it up now. So the Soul Charge is going to pop in the ground. Ooh, catches him rolling, trying to get... Oh my god, a yeah. second time. Oh, and we're going all the way, man. Look at all that life. Just oh depleted there from Talon's life bar. And she doesn't have any meter to like try and utilize to even this out either. So it's going to be just pure 50-50 honest caliber for Shimarisu if he wants to make, stay alive. Jeez, and it's working so far. He is whittling away at night, Nightmare's oh, life bar. That oh, that my god, attack was insane! Went for the reversal edge. Into the soul charge. You have to be careful how he's going to utilize all this, and he takes it, tying it up, bringing it to a final round here, match number two. Duke trying to stay alive. Just like that, Duke very wisely uh, going for the mid option, knowing that a lot of players like to duck after the AA there. But now, ooh, big whiff there is going to push Shimmerizu closer to the ring edge, and he's going to guard him it. for the ring out. Keith. 
Nice. Great calculations there by Keeve. Able to very keep very his opponent at the edge, and that was all she wrote. And that was a that was a really good amount of it. 